creating a quick maze book for KDP using instant maze generator and only using the front end. Hi Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy new training every week so be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today what I quickly want to show you is how to use the front end to quickly make a book that you can upload straight away to KDP. Now, I'm only showing you the tools within the front end. I do have access to all of the tools, the front end and all the upsells. So I've got extra things. I'm not going to click on any of the extra things. I'll talk you through what you've got. So what I've done earlier is I actually created this book here. Blurred out the name that I'm using for this particular one. But what I did is I created 20 of these five different types of puzzles and I use the quick book generator. So all I did is I went into my instant maze here, I accessed it and then um, and I created a collection. So I'm just going to go testy, crazy mazes and I'm going to create and then I'm going to go view. And then all I did was I selected all of these and I can do as many as I wanted and if you want a hundred obviously it's 20 of each or you can just do one type so if you only wanted to do octagon mazes you can select as many as you want and then you can also choose whether you want it simple medium or complex now here don't change what's inside these curly brackets you can remove that say if you're only going to do one of them so say you're only going to do simple you can remove that but if you want to use all three of those then that needs to stay because then it'll say whether it's a complex one or a medium or a simple one so you can also change it so you can go crazy in mazes or whatever name you're giving your book or anything like that and then all you need to do is click create and it goes ahead and it creates all different ones for you and you can change the complexity and the size so you can go to really extreme complexity you wouldn't do it on that one because it does say simple and you can go really really simple so if you're doing for like early learners uh, you can do that you can also individually download these now the problem is it doesn't come with a solution but these are great if you're downloading it to use on your covers and you want a specific one also with the front end all you get to be able to download is the pdf and pngs and jpeg now the pdf is great because you've basically got a book here and all you need to do is you can add an extra page so i'm going to add this page and it goes here but all i need to do is click on move up and I can actually create a text box here and I can write something like thank you for purchasing crazy mazes And then you can state things like, let me just move it. There we go. In fact, I'm just going to move, and then we can get another text. And move that one down. And then you can put something like, yeah, well, five types. Mazes. Solutions. In the back. And then what you can do is you can also add a copyright thing as well. So I can just put here copyright. Oops, let me click on it. Copyright. Okay. Copyright. And then put your pen name or your nom de plume or your own name or whatever there and then what I would do is I'd simply download that as a PDF and that once it's downloaded is actually your book
So while that's downloading, I will pause that video. So actually, it's done it before I need to pause. So there's a mistake there. All you need to do is go back here. I don't know why it did that. Copyright. And then click off it. Find if you click off it and then click somewhere else, it seems to be able to do it better. So let it do that. Okay. Is it done it this time? Yeah, copyright pen name. So that is your first book quickly done. All you need to do is create a cover. Now I have created previous videos on how to create covers in both Canva and in PowerPoint and how to get the sizes, but I will create a video showing you how to actually do that. Now I have actually gone and created one in Affinity Designer. I did get the sizes from Tangent Templates, but you can also get the size from KDP themselves. Now, if you wanted to create individual puzzles to say mix and match and put in a new activity book where you've got some Sudoku puzzles, where you've got some dot to dots or other activities, what you can do is if you go back to your collections, you can create a new collections and put individual puzzles. You can click create. And then go here, view, and then instead of clicking that button, all you would do is click that and you can select your different individual puzzles. And like I said, again, you can do an individual local download and you can also put a text there to actually name it or to give some instructions. And you can also change the size as well. And again, front end, all you can download is as a PDF or a PNG or a JPEG. Now, if you get the upsells, you can then start adding images and you can also add backgrounds to it as well. And you can also be downloading as a PowerPoint or an SVG. And you also get more access to different types of fonts and different colors that you can use. And you also get access to this custom entry and exit, which you don't get with these but what you can do if you want to change things up is you can just regenerate and as you can see it's changed the point of entry and exit there also if you download just individual ones as png and then upload them either to canva which we can do now and then you can add little images so what we'll do is we'll download it as png because i want the solutions as well and you can just go to canva Create a design, it's not in bleed. So I could just search for letter. Oops. Everything happening at once. US letter document. And then what I can do is just upload. As you can see, I've got a lot going on here. Upload these two here. Then I can resize that. Oh, I've got to resize it. And then I can also put some images. I've got, I've got a gnome here. Make them a bit smaller. Put him there. He's after his coffee mug. I can put in there. And then I could just put some text. Help. Norm. My name. And is coffee. There we go. I'm just going to add a page. 
Copy that. Place that there. And just put a solution. Let's There we go. Can actually crop it so it doesn't show that page one. And that is how I would do that in uh, Canva. So same sort of thing you can do in PowerPoint or Keynote or Affinity. And then you've got your um, puzzle going. And again, you can remove all these colors here. So change it to white, change it to white. And again, I've got a video how to move colors in Canva as well. That one's effects. To grace more quickly, and that's that. So, that is how to quickly get your design for just using the front end of Instant Maze Generator. But, like I say, if you go for all the upsells, it just makes it a little bit easier. But if you're tight on your budget, then you can still use this great tool because of how quick it does things. But it doesn't generate your images that you want, like where you can see people have made cars or if you look at my previous video where I did a review I did a car on that those are in the upsells so I hope this has helped you if you're interested in getting an instant maze generator the link will be down in the description also check out my full review on instant maze generator and also check out their previous software instant puzzle generator